Salawam, Kohala Yahawa, Bahasim Yahawa Shai, Bahasim Rahakwa Dash, the Bonner's Tide teachers, the apostles, and the other bishops of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the 144,000, the elect men of the nation of Israel that's teaching in truth, society, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying and straight to the point. Yeah, we're coming into the times where biblical prophecy is no longer going to be able to ignore it. You know, but it's going to become more of a concern amongst the masses of the people. You see, and it's just a quick article from AOI.com. It says, Dinner party conversation turns morbid. Chats about the apocalypse is becoming more mainstream, yeah, because everywhere you look and everywhere you turn, you're seeing biblical prophecy pretty much take center stage. You know, from natural disasters that's happening globally, war conflicts, famines, you know, insurrections and seditions that's growing, the morality of the people is, is at an all time low. The condition of the planet Earth in itself, you know, is in the worst uh, condition it's ever been. You know, animals are going extinct, beaching themselves. You know, all sorts of strange events is happening in the earth. So it's kind of hard not to mention the end times, you know, especially in these times. You see, and just to read into the article, it says, fear surrounding, uh, fear surrounding artificial intelligence, wars, the climate crisis and diseases are driving more frequent conversations about the apocalypse. The end times is now a common yet morbid dinner party conversation. That's like a conversation, according to analysts by Professor Eric Bleach and Christopher Starr at Middlebury College, uh, Vermont. You see? So even from the things that was mentioned, artificial intelligence, war, uh, climate crisis, and diseases, all these things pretty much points back to biblical prophecy. And you can see that these things is pretty much taking center stage where it's causing fears and concerns amongst the masses because ultimately that artificial intelligence is just a road that's leading towards the mark of the beast, the MOTB, you know, the RFID, CHIP technology, the CBDC technology, where they're trying to implant a device in your right hand or in your forehead in order for you to continue with the luxuries buying and selling, you know, in certain societies. You see, and even the wars, World War Three. You know, the climax of World War Three is, is constantly intensifying. You know, the climate uh, crisis, all the natural disasters and the diseases that's erupting everywhere, man. You know, all these things are just point fingers back towards the apocalypse. You know, the end, the return of our Lord Yahweh Shah. You see? And these things is ultimately going to become more of a concern because as we get closer to that day, they're going to become more evident. You know that you're living in the end times. You see, real quick, this is Proverbs chapter 4 in verse 18. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more until the perfect day. You see, so the, the path of the just is pretty much promoted to the people, it's ultimately going to become a reality. You know, and the reality is ultimately the second coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai, which is parallel with the destruction of America. And you're watching these things, the events that's taking place is ultimately leading up to that destruction. You know, them, uh, the de-dollarization of the, uh, of the USD, them trying to come with a, a, a new currency for us, the CBDC, you know, technology, the implant, uh, 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 you know, technology under your skin or in your forehead. You see, all those are just symptoms of the end, the morality of the people. Because you can look past the disasters the de-dollarization, the wars, but even considering considering the uh, the morality of the people, those are just symptoms of the end times, man. LGBT, you know, people arguing over it being more than two genders. Those are just symptoms of the end times, you see. And it's gonna shine more and more as we get closer to that perfect day, you know. Real quick, this is the Book of Mark, chapter thirteen. In verse 30, it says, Verily I say unto you, that this generation should not pass to all these things be done, you see, and pretty much concerning the prophecies. You know, a nigga ain't going to be able to be in that spirit of these things is for a long time to come. I'm going to be dead and gone before they start to happen. Not knowing that these things is already unfolding under the nose of these people. You see, and they're pretty much sleep. They're in that spirit of party and bullshit and caught up with the affairs of this life. 
that they can't see prophecy unfolded. You see right in their lifetime. You see it real quick. It's the book of Ecclesiastes. Uh, it's like Ezekiel chapter 12. In verse 27. It says, Son of man, the people of Israel are saying, and this is in the NLT, the people of Israel are saying, he's talking about a distant future. His vision won't come true for a long, long time. And this is the mentality of the people here in this society, America, Babylon, the great, along with these heathens. You know, they don't believe that the end is coming. But then you have some people out there, you know, they can't help but to speak on these things. You see, because they see the symptoms of the end times. You know, it says, therefore, tell them. This is what the sovereign Lord says. No more delay. I will now do everything I have threatened. I, the sovereign Lord, have spoken. You see? So you're going to see the Lord spring into action in your lifetime, man. Again, uh, Mark 13 to verse 30. Verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass till all these things be done. You see, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall stand. It's like, but my word shall not pass away. So the words of the Heavenly Father is going to stand. It's going to accomplish in the things where until he sent it. You know, and this is why it's becoming more of a concern to these people. Because now people are starting to acknowledge it. It ain't like you can flip a station or change the channel. And you can just put these things in the back of your mind. Because the more they come to the forefront, the more you're going to frequently see them in commercials. You know, every your everyday life is going to remind you of the end time seeing store closures. You know, seeing them, uh, just the people in a lower state, you know, famines growing, conflicts amongst nations. Everything is going to start to remind you of the end times. You see this is Isaiah 46 and verse 10 declaring the end from the beginning, from the ancient times. That uh, from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasures, you see. So the Lord is going to do all his pleasures. And these things was ultimately already declared from the ancient times on how the story was going to play out. And even in these beginning stages, we're declaring the end to you, telling you that America is not going to bounce back. The symptoms that's being shown is ultimately going to lead to the destruction of this place. You know, and that's just where we get in the process. You see, and it's going back to Mark 13. In verse 31, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. It says, Take take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. And what are you watching for? You're watching for the prophecies. The thing that the Lord spoke of that was going to ultimately bring uh, that was going to bring clarity of the time and season you living in and you're praying that you're able to uh, escape the horrible times that's about to take place on the earth you know for we know not uh, for we know not when the time is for the son of man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to everyone and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch you see watch ye therefore for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at evening or at midnight or at the cock crow or in the morning. You see, let's come and suddenly he find you sleep. Yeah, caught up with the affairs of his life. You know, and this is why this is a morbid conversation amongst the people here in this society because their existence is surrounded by the affairs of this life. Their existence is surrounded by carnality. So it brings fear to them. What brings fear to them brings joy to us. Because we ultimately get off on speaking about the end times. You know, that's a that's a a lovely conversation to the uh to the prophets. You know, while the masses, it brings fear to them. It's a morbid conversation. You see, you go into that word morbid real quick. The word morbid, just a simple Google definition, it says characterized by unusual interest and in disturbing and unpleasant subjects. You see, especially death and disease and these things is considering prophecy because those unpleasant subjects is uh, the destruction of America, Babylon, the Greek. You actually sit down and speaking on the things that's happening globally and, uh, you know, your, your, uh, your solution is, yeah, the end times. <laughs> you see, it says of the nature of the nature of or indicative 
of diseases. Yeah, you see, because you have all sorts of pestilence. The things that's taking place on the earth, you know, points finger towards the end times, you see. So just going back, verse 36, Mark 13, 36. Let's come and suddenly he find you uh, sleeping, pretty much caught up with the affairs of his life. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Yeah, read it in that T. What I say unto you, what I say to everyone, watch for him, you see? And you watch for the Lord by uh, being occupied, you know, in his ministry, man. Being occupied in prophecy, you see, real quick. Ecclesiastes 39 and verse 1. But he that gave his mind to the law of the Most High. And is occupied in prophecy. It's like it. And is occupied in the meditation thereof. Will seek out the wisdom of the ancient. And be occupied in prophecies. You see. So this is how you stay on your watch. This is how you know you watch for him. By giving your mind. Where it says giving your mind to the law of the most high. And is occupied in the meditation thereof. Will seek out. The wisdom of the ancient year, giving diligence in his uh, truth, you know, seeking out all things and be occupied in prophecies. You see? So for now, this is the book of Luke, because I spoke about the, uh, being caught up with the affairs of his life, you know, which that's what the Lord, you know, he tell us not to be. You know, because the concern of these people is also going to become a reality to them and they're going to be taken in great fear. This is Luke 21 and verse 34. And take heed to yourselves, let's say, any time your hearts be overcharged with sufficiency and drunkenness, yeah, the philosophies and doctrines of this world, and cares of this life, yeah, relationships, you know, you trying to start a career, you trying to find yourself, you know, you trying to get some money and all sorts of things like that, build a family, you just caught up with the affairs of this life. You see? It says, the affairs of this life, and so that that they come upon you unawares, because that's ultimately what's going to happen. While you're trying to get your shit together, prophecy is going to start unfolding. It's going to take the center stage. This place is going to go into a lockdown. You know, everything that you're wasting so much time, energy, and resources into is going to come to nothing, you know, overnight in 24 hours. You see, and you're going to be taken in the evil times because you wasn't watching. You was too caught up in trying to be something in America. Trying to be a successful black man, you know, an uh, uh, independent, strong black woman. You see, it says, for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth. Yeah, it's going to come as a snare, man. People are not going to know from whence it came. They're not going to see these things. You're not going to get an alert set in two hours or 48 to 24 hours before these things happen. You see, the alert is going out now for you to be prepared, you know, watch. for You know, a scripture said, watch for him. So the Lord is giving you the warning now before these things take place. You see, again, declaring the end from the beginning. Letting you know that what's going to happen. You see, before they take place. Uh, verse 36, watch ye therefore. Again, he's telling you to watch. You know, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come uh, to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Yeah, I'm going to read that in NLT. Verse 35, it says, like a trap, for that day will come upon everyone living on the earth. Yeah, unaware. It's Tuesday, uh, Tuesday morning, Wednesday afternoon when you least expect it. You see, it says, keep alert at all times. Yeah, watching for the prophecies and pray that you may be strong enough to escape these coming horrors and stand before the Son of Man, you see. So you can't get caught up with the affairs of this life, man. You know, that'll ultimately destroy you in the long run. You see, so this is 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 29. It says, but this, but this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth. Yeah, the time is short because the, sim hey, the symptoms is showing that the times are short. This is why it's becoming a concern now. Because the Lord has sped the days up and things is popping like popcorn. You know, prophecy is, is becoming mainstream. You see, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though uh, they had none. Yeah, because ultimately it's time to just dive into the ministry, man. 
you know, pretty much put your all into it because if a person can't see from the events that's taking place here upon planet Earth that we living in the end and that the time is short, you can just look at the morality of the people and that'll tell you in itself, man. Niggas arguing that it's more than two genders. You know, you got drag queen children, pedophilia is a heavy thing now. You know, people, bestiality is a big thing. People marrying animals and having sex with animals. Murder is a heavy thing. You know, war. Everything that the Lord has spoken of concerning the end times, these things are showing in the earth, man. You know, but just going into the morality of the people. This is John chapter 2 and verse. Let's see, verse 17. It says, And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever, you see? Yeah, so the world is passing away. This is why the concern is growing, because people are starting to see it now. It's getting to a point where you can't, you cannot acknowledge it, you see? It says, little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that uh, Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that this is the last time. Yeah, the Antichrist is pretty much people that's adverse towards the Lord. And those are our family members, you know, old friends in the world, co-workers, you know, uh, our wives and, you know, your husband, your children, you see? Friends and, uh, you know, familiar faces and things like that. We see it on a, on a large scale, even on social media, that, yeah, this is a world that's adverse towards the ways of the Lord. And it's just symptoms that you're living in the end times, man. You see? So, uh, yeah, I my pray that you was edified, give out on the glory and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash, Lord Willington, this video, I say, Shalom.